Okay, so here's the HNC general engineering and some um, tips regarding the units or the modules and some handy study tips for you. Okay, let's have a look at these units on the general HNC. Um, and as you can see here, you have four mandatory core units. So core units are common to all the engineering programs. So whether you go on electrical or manufacturing or any other routes, you have to do these four units, okay? So engineering, design and project, we tend to leave till the back end of the HNC because you do need um, foundational knowledge um, to effectively produce a good design or a good project, okay? Um, maths and science are really cause or anything really to do with engineering or physics or even chemistry for that matter or science subjects okay so this is general engineering so specialist units well you're not really specializing you're generalizing hence the name general engineering so there are no specialist units required for a general engineering HNC however you still need to undertake eight modules for the HNC general and so you have a good wide menu of 20 plus optional units to choose from and obviously you need to select four in addition to the four mandatory core modules which to make up all the components um, eight modules for the HNC okay let me go back a bit and have a look about where you're going to start on this program. Where to start? We start with maths, always. All the engineering programs are higher national level. You need a good foundation in maths, so here's your timeline through the qualification. Engineering and maths first, followed by science. Those two will give you a really good foundation um, to form new knowledge and more understanding in subsequent units. The flexibility around the HNC general qualification is built in here, so you're going to pick a level 4 option, then do the same again, the same again, the same again, in that order, just select one initially. That will then inform your learning journey. At the end of that module you will probably have a different um, set of further options in mind depending on journey through that particular optional module so for example you may have picked something to do with the digital robotics side of things and by that time maybe you really enjoyed that and you would like to do something else um, regarding those topic areas so just take your time step by step okay by the time you've got to here you've got six modules under your belt and lots of knowledge so then you're looking at doing a design and finally ending with project okay so that was your unit route on this general HNC okay just want to summarize with some study tips for you okay and workbooks let's have a look for workbooks we recommend you read through the workbooks we produce the workbooks I here in-house at Unicourse and so fundamentally important that you read through those workbooks and as we've got here especially the worked examples the critical knowledge for you those worked examples okay uh, the modules right please just stick with one module at a time many students become unstuck because they try two three modules and switching everywhere and your focus changes so it was good to keep your focus on one module at a time okay assignments right you can only submit one assignment at a time okay many students um, you know encounter the maths module and become a bit over eager and produce all three at once and then any mistakes that you've made any common mistakes um, like for example missing out SI units or perhaps having your calculator in the wrong mode etc if those um, mistakes were made in the first they may have been carried over to assignment two and assignment three in terms of format 
Okay, it's always a good idea, especially maths and science, uh, to hand write your assignments. Things like maths and science, you know, you may be putting notes in the margin, etc., or drawing little sketches and things. Um, occasionally you can scrub things out if you made a mistake, which is fine. Um, presentation's good, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. We need to see your ideas and your thinking. Quite often you might get the answer wrong, but your, your method or your analysis has been really good, in which case you'll get the marks. Okay, so particularly for maths and science, um, try if possible um, to handwrite the assignments and avoid word processing um, where you can. Okay, in terms of drafts, well, we don't accept draft assignments because basically when students are new to us and they say, well, have a look at this, is this really good, and where have I gone wrong, etc., but that's part of the official marking process, okay? We don't, we, unfortunately, if everybody got distinctions, then that wouldn't be fair, really, would it? Because, you know, you need to have a, a spread of achievements across the, uh, the spectrum of all the cohorts that we have. So, but we will help you, actually, uh, with understanding principles. Quite often, myself and colleagues, you know, we answer questions and how to tackle an assignment question, which pages to refer back to in the workbooks, etc., which video tutorials to watch. Um, but the learning is yours, okay? We're into the teaching and you're into the learning. And finally, if you feel that you're rusty on your mathematics, then we do have an excellent maths bridging course um, with lots of videos and interactive exercises, etc. That you will find really useful and we do have some very good feedback regarding uh, that particular maths bridging course okay so overall there's some guidance for you on your module journey in hnc general engineering okay thanks for watching